I'm just doing you a short video how you can transfer your files, the, your mixes that you've made into iTunes. Uh, here I have a just a, a simple loop that I've just dragged down, but it could be any sort of audio at all. And I'm just going to click export, and I'm going to select M4A, which is for iTunes. Now I could pick MP3 as well, but I'm going to pick M4A, uh, which is MPEG for Advanced Audio Codec AAC. And I can pick the quality here as well, so I can pick it high quality. I'm just going to pick CD quality, and I'm going to call it Dance Track for iTunes One, and I'm going to click Save. So, and I've saved that into my documents under Dance Track for iTunes One, and I can always play that to make sure it plays okay. Now I'm just going to go into my iTunes, which I have open, and I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to go Add File to Library, and I know it is in my Documents, so Cormac Docs, da, 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 da. and then I'll just find iTunes, there we go. So dance track for iTunes one. There it is there. So I'm just gonna import that in. And now I'm just going to do a search just to find it. Dance dance track. So there it is there. And now it's in my iTunes library and then I can just click play can hear that it's in there now transferred playing away and you can hear the volume there so that's how you would ex export your mix and transfer it into iTunes um, if you're not able to bring in a iTunes file into TrackHack PC it's probably because it is uh, got a DRM on it which means it is a protected file so here I have some files here that I know are protected um, so if I right click on it and I select get info you'll see that it is a bit it's a M4P and it is a protected AAC audio file that means that you're not able to mix it in any application because it is a protected DRM file so if the files you're trying to mix are M M4P files, you won't be able to mix them in any um, sort of music or video application because um, uh, Apple have put a protection on that file. Finally, if you're working in a mix and you want to, here's just a dance mix that I'm working on, you can always just click anywhere within the mixing screen to go to whatever area you want. You can also set up a loop region by double clicking on the time bar and setting up a loop region. You can always put the loop button on and it'll just play within that region. Again, you can just remove the loop region by clicking on the, the yellow bar and you can always grab the play bar and place it wherever you want. So if I'm listening back to my mute, my file, like so, and I wanna go to this area, I could just double click to bring it there. If I want to go to the next mix, I could just double click, bring it there. Or else I can just click stop and I can just drag the play bar to anywhere. If I want to go back to the mix very quickly, I can just bring it play bar right back there. And you can always zoom in as well to bring it exactly where you want. So I hope that helps. If you want to just play that region just there between it, just a little bit, you can just double click to create a loop region and click play. And we'll only play within that loop region now. And to remove it, you can just right click and select remove loop region. So I hope that helps. And if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Best regards. Bye bye.